Robert Patterson, a Canadian living in Poland. And I'm on the banks of the Vistula River, the Wisła, as the Poles call it. Down there towards Krakow is a crossing for a little town named Anapol. And along with my colleague Jagos and Tomek, we're going to paddle that direction towards Gdansk. Uh, another 60 kilometers, hopefully in two days, towards a town named Kashmir's Dolne. And if you don't know where that is, just Google it. Okay, uh, it's a beautiful river. For a pole, this is like uh, the St. Lawrence. Okay, it's a big, powerful river flowing through the heart of the country. Uh, you can see across the bank how wild it is. It's got a nice current, about uh, three, four knots an hour. Okay? It's like a park carved through the middle of the country. Poland's a small country, about the same size as New Brunswick and PEI combined with 40 million people living in a country that's an area that, 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 that large. And so everywhere you go in Poland you see people and here you don't see anybody. As we say in Polish, needs. And part of what we're doing here today in this trip, besides this two-day trip, is doing something with this guy here. Uh, this is a paddle I just bought from the Red Tail Paddle Company in Campbellford, Ontario. Okay. And we've got a, quite a few red tails with us. We've also got some uh, gray owls, but we won't talk about that. But this is a very special paddle. It's called a bell ski. And I, when I first heard the name, I really related to it because ski, when you add ski to a name, that uh, has a Polish connotation. And it's handmade by John Bell, the owner of Red Tail Paddles. And it's a very poignant thing. He's named it after his son. His son name was Adam. And Adam passed away prematurely at age 30 in 2011. So John named this paddle after him because he called his son Adam Belsky, son of Bell. And he's dedicated this paddle, this very special paddle to uh, his son. And you can see it's a real beauty. There's John's name there. John Bell and Belsky, he made it for me, especially, uh, 05, 2020, so he did it in May. Beautiful piece of uh, workmanship, uh, uh, walnut, cherry, and a thing in the middle, a really unusual structure, because it's going right up the shaft, something called butterwood, okay? I think that's butterwood, I don't know my wood that well. Anyway, this is the first time it's ever touched water, okay? And we're gonna be paddling with it on this trip. So it's to commemorate Adam Bell and pay tribute to his uh, father, who, I not, who I've not met, but he sounds like a very nice man. Okay, that's it. It's a beautiful paddle. It really feels nice in my hands. Nice to look at, also nice to paddle.